Hi everybody, it's been a minute since I've made a video, but I'm back and I want to clear up some confusion whether an online degree in ITU cybersecurity is worth it in 2024. Of course it is. So don't worry, I got you covered. For those of you that don't know me, hi, I'm Phantom Marie. I'm an entry-level cybersecurity professional. And in this video, I want to help you decide if you want to pursue a degree in cybersecurity, particularly online. So let's talk about career opportunities, the value of an online education, and most importantly, the financial aspects. I feel like my experience is also relevant because I earned my master's online cybersecurity and I landed a job eight weeks within starting my program. So I feel pretty validated to speak on this topic. So let's get started. Before we pursue any degree, it's always important for us to check the relevance of the course because we want job security. Um, so we must know the future demands and the opportunities within the field. So take a look at this cybersecurity ventures article and it states there will be around three and a half million unfilled positions in cybersecurity in 2025. That's a lot. Uh, they predict that the disparity between demand and supply will remain through to at least 2025. So maybe that's next year. <laughs> the demand in cybersecurity professionals is at an all time high. And of course, this is the United States. So, you know, you're not going anywhere without a corporate education. Hate to say it. So talking about education, there's the traditional path of, you know, enroll in school, pay a hefty amount, wait four years to complete the degree on campus, yada, yada, yada. What? Baby, that's too much. We're not doing that anymore. But in what world did anyone imagine that you could earn legit degrees on the internet just by click, click, clacking on a keyboard? So yes, I'm talking about an online degree. So and that is an academic qualification that can be earned through internet based coursework and with virtual classes and labs. Well, one of the biggest advantages of an online degree is obviously the flexibility. You can study from anywhere. If you want to be on the beach, you can go to the beach. If you want to be at the bar, you can be at the bar, which is perfect for anyone um, who's looking for that type of freedom. And then also there are working professionals that are maybe looking to switch their jobs or people that have commitments that do not allow them to be on campus full time. And that's okay. So I think the only reason an in-person attendance might be valuable at this point is because you might be exposed to people. You might build face-to-face -face relationships with people that have the same mindset as you that you can network with. However, thanks to the internet, um, it's become more easy to connect with people and build relationships with um, apps like LinkedIn, Twitter, TikTok, even YouTube and, and much more. So networking opportunities are everywhere. In addition to that, you can also save a lot of money with online degrees. They are way more cost effective than traditional on-campus programs. I'm talking about saving on commuting because you spend less money on gas and less money on gas means you're making the earth happy because less fossil fuels in the atmosphere. Additionally, you'll save thousands on housing because sometimes your dorm can cost just as much as your, your school. What? Uh, what? What sense does that make? Um, and also most importantly, tuition as well. So it sounds like a win-win situation to me, if you ask. <laughs> but as you type in the search bar, online degree programs for cybersecurity, blah, 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 blah. You're gonna be bombarded with a bunch of people trying to sell you BS courses. And if you've seen my first upload, you know I was struggling to find a good school to start my career in cybersecurity. So it's really difficult to find proper guidance. And since we're on the topic of seeking cost-effective, flexible, and trusted online education, I want to introduce you to SNHU which is Southern New Hampshire University. SNHU, which is my trusted and lovely sponsor for this video. It's almost as if every time you wake up, it's another breach happening left and right. Southern New Hampshire University's online cybersecurity program is gonna teach you how to defend against cyber attacks and protect your organization's data, okay? They're gonna get you right. This is how you're going to fill one of these many vacant positions. We're talking three and a half million, yeah. Now it's going to be 3.4999 because of you. <laughs> 
You can think of working in the private sector or the public sector because their cybersecurity program has been designated by the National Center of Academic Excellence in Cyber Defense by the NSA. That is the National Security Agency. But cyber defense isn't the only critical area in cybersecurity and SNHU offers a wide range of online degrees along with bachelors in IT and cybersecurity that are designed to fit into your busy lifestyle, okay? So whichever IT path you choose for your destiny, just know that you're gonna be supported by faculty with real world experience and you'll have the chance to network and connect with people in the industry. But I have to emphasize that SNHU is an accredited nonprofit university with radically affordable tuition, okay? Don't be like me drawing in six figures of student loan debt. <laughs> Don't do it. Save yourself the time and the money, okay? And the cherry on top, SNHU is offering a special discount on their degree programs. And if you've made up your mind, I want you to go check them out. The link is in my description. But if you don't feel like going down there, snhu.edu slash phantomarie is where you need to head to see if you qualify. And you can also transfer your credits and that can speed up your degree as well. So once you finish, just know that SNHU will be there to help you in your job search with their amazing team and career services. Let's get back into the video. So as I said earlier, I also got my master's in cybersecurity online in 2022. I finished last August, 2023, and I got my master's from my alma mater. I did my undergrad at West Virginia and did my master's at West Virginia as well. So cue in the country roads take me home <laughs> to the place <laughs> Um, okay, I'm gonna put my banjo down. But the best part is that that program was designed by my mentor. My mentor, Dr. Ramazan, left the industry, um, has fancy PhDs, that man is super smart, okay? And decided that, you know, academia is the route for him. So he designed the program and really helps you prep for the real world, which is a nice touch. So once I was in that program, I got a full-time job within eight weeks. And that's when I noticed that my studying habits really changed. And this is why I truly recommend that going to school online is beneficial because you don't have to pause either aspect of your life. I would go to work and then come home and read for a few hours alongside with my asynchronous lessons. I was able to get by with completing most of my readings during the week. But I also did an accelerated program because traditionally it was two years. I did it in one. So I had multiple classes at the same time and four chapters to read in each class a week, you know, times whatever the multiplier is. You just know your girl was busy. So if anyone is interested in a thorough breakdown of my courses at West Virginia, I'm happy to do that for you. I got you. Now here comes the most important part when it comes to deciding an online course, online degree or anything like that. This is the financials. And I'm gonna be super vulnerable here because I have a lot of student loan debt. I'm talking like 150 grand. How it got that high, I really don't know. I couldn't tell you. Um, but as that, but that's truly a result of me not knowing what the F I was doing in school. And I'm not saying that I was switching my major all the time, but I'm just saying like, I got wrapped up in the idea of needing a specific experience. And I was like, oh yeah, student loans, student loans, rack them up, rack them up. And if I could go back, I would definitely not go that route at all, okay? Does not matter. <laughs> And I was in school during the pandemic, so it's not like I got that college experience anyway. So, listen listen to me when I say this, okay? If I could start over, I would be Rami Malik, you know, from Mr. Robot. I would be locked inside of my room. I would be going crazy with online projects and online schooling and getting all the skills I need to fill one of these jobs. Yeah, that's what I, that would be my advice to you. In short, getting an online degree can quickly and cheaply help you earn the skills that you need for a cybersecurity job because it's gonna save you time and money and it, and you get to see if you like a career without spending too much money or maybe moving across the country for a school. 
You don't have to do that. And plus, if the six figure student loan debt didn't already convince you, I want you to remember that most employers do not care where you went to school. If you craft your resume with the right keywords, if you meet the right people, have the right connections, it does not matter, okay? It does not matter. I'm not gonna say don't go to Harvard if that's, you know, truly what you desire, but you don't really need to. So if you're thinking about a future in cybersecurity, an online degree could be your best first step. It could also be way better than a boot camp. No shade, no shade, but if you're gonna spend $20,000 on a boot camp versus $20,000 on an actual tangible degree from accredited school, which one are you gonna pick? Mm, it's not gonna be the boot camp. <laughs> um, that's all I have for today and Please remember that choosing a career path is only the first step in the journey, okay? That is the first part towards your destiny and it's an experience in itself. So please reach out to your community, reach out to me, find people online, connect with them and ask, we're here to help you, okay? So don't feel alone in this. I want you to make sure to follow me and comment. Tell me what more you wanna see and I'll, I'm gonna deliver it to you fresh. Here you go, freshly made for you. Don't forget to like the video or else a mean, bad, ugly scammer is gonna break into your computer and steal all your info huh? and put it on the dark net. You don't want that. So make sure you like the video so that doesn't happen to you. And bye!